hi my loves you are welcome to olives in this tutorial i'll share with you how to make this 180 degrees flare dress with a tube top that has a crisscross if this is your first time here hi my name is olivia you may call me olives and if you are a returning subscriber you know how we do it thank you for always stopping by let's get right into this tutorial right here i have my pattern paper this is a starting point and here is the center front of the bodies okay which will be on fold and the length of the half length or the shoulder to waist is 15 and a half inches having measured the shoulder to waist i'll go ahead and measure shoulder to chest shoulder to nipple and then shoulder to under bust and this is what i have here i'm working for a client her shoulder measurement shoulder to shoulder is 14 divided by 2 is 7 which i'm marking here i'll put it into a straight line mark down one inch as shoulder slope and then three inches as neck width three inches also as neck depth i'll connect the neckline together i'll also draw the shoulder slope as shown i'll move on to the chest line and mark quarter of the bust measurement which is the bust divided by four I will divide the distance I have here into two and go in by three quarter. That's where the front neck line connect this way and also connect the armhole together. I'll move down to the waist line and mark quarter of the waist. Whenever I mention quarter, it means that it is divided by four. Okay, and I'll use the total dart as one and a half. We usually use one, but in this case, I want to use one and a half total dart. So I'm going to add that to quarter of my waist and connect it together to the bust. From here, I'll mark down the depth of the neckline, which means where exactly the tube will start from. And here I'm going to use five three quarter inch, and I'm just going to make a straight line like this. That the starting point of the off shoulder neckline okay so which means the top part is no more needed now i'm going to divide my nipple to nipple by two or her nipple to nipple by two so that is seven divided by two is three and a half which i've marked on the waist under bust and nipple i'll come down by one inch here to create my dart you know the dart is one and a half so i'm going to divide the one and a half inches into two and each of these results will be marked at each end of the center that leg as you see this top part is no more needed but we need it anyway by dividing the shoulder into two as a guideline and so if you divide into two you connect whatever result you have which is the midpoint to the actual nipple point just as shown do you see that and this is where we Tighten the over bust, which is mostly known as over bust tightening. And for this, I'll also use one and a half inch total that I'll use the same method as the waist that that is three quarter inch on both sides of that center line we've marked. And I'm going to connect that as well to the nipple point as shown. I'll record the measurements I have on this dart leg and also mark the same thing on the other dart leg. There will be a shortage, so I'll move on to just replace it. You can also do this by closing the dart and reconnecting. So I came down by three quarter on the center front to create the sweetheart neckline. All right, so at the chest area, I'm going to mark the dart I have and replace it at the side. We are only tightening the top part of the off shoulder. The bust is excluded. Okay. I also went ahead by coming down by a half inch from the actual. Was that half inch? Yeah, that was half inch <laughs> from the actual chest line before I reconnected. Mind you, you can actually maintain the actual chest line. Okay. All right. After contouring the over bust, we will go ahead to contour or tighten the under bust as well. Look, I thought I was actually recording here, but I was never recording. So I had to retrace um, this off shoulder and explain to you how I tighten the under bust. Okay, the round under bust measurement is 29 and a half. I divided it by four and I measured the result from the center front like this. 
so you could see an excess after measuring right so it is this excess that we are going to use to tighten the under bust do you understand so i'm going to measure that excess whatever results i have here i'm just going to mark it on the tape to record it so i don't forget now i make sure that towards the center front mark half inch or less and then the excess of the result i have goes towards the side okay so what i mean is i'll mark half inch that's away from that that leg i believe you can see that then i'm going to turn the tape for me to read well already i have taken half inch away from the actual result i have okay so i'll mark away the half inch and mark the excess towards the side okay so i'm just trying to spread whatever result i have then i'll connect each of them to the waistline i'll use my armhole curve to connect from the under bust tightening to meet the nipple line and also do the same thing here If you follow all these steps so far you should have something olives also has okay all right so this words i actually missed recording and you could see that the off shoulder is already coming out well we'll move on to also create the back okay before then i missed out um reconnecting the other side of the off shoulder you know i replaced the dart intake here there right and i excluded that so i'm going to correct that and reconnect it to my replacement do you see that and i'll reconnect this actual point to meet the waistline okay so i should have something like this and you should to let's move to the back the back is not anything difficult wherever the front stops okay wherever the front neckline stops that is where the back also starts so i'm just going to draw a straight line this way and so that's the beginning of the back so the top part of the back body is also out then on the waistline i'm not going to use that so i'm just going to mark in quarter of the waist and also on the chest line quarter of the chest okay and also on the under bust quarter of the under bust as well and i'm just going to connect it looking at the style my customer wants the back is like corset style okay that means there is lacing and there is also a crisscross so i used from the center back three and a half inches and then connected it as a straight line so which means that the excess at the back is what i'm taking off so if you want less than that then you mark less than three and a half and if you want more than that you mark more than the three and a half i've marked okay so that is it for our bodies and i will just move on to cut but before then i'm going to include the length of the back okay i'll include the length of the back the back length is different from the front length so i'm just going to mark from the shoulder thumb down and locate 13 and a half which is the back length of my customer okay i'm sure by now you've questioned yourself how would the sides join right so i'm going to use the excess that i have after marking the back length to introduce an underarm that at the side of the front so this is what i'm doing i'm going to match them together like this and mark where the back length ends okay so whatever excess i have on the front I'll take note of that measurement and mark it down from the nipple point connect it back to the nipple point as shown and i'm going to close it this is now a dart an underarm dart so i'm just going to close it after closing the dart there will be a shortage somewhere so i'm going to introduce a paper beneath it and reconnect everything together blend it and cut off the excess so this way i'm going to have the sides of both the front and back together and i'm also going to take off an excess from the front like this in case you are a beginner and you would want to have a better understanding about off shoulder i'll leave links in the description box for this tutorial not to be too boring and long we would have a part two of this so turn on the notification bell thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed learning with olives do like this video subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next one